Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. I just let the dogs out and when I let Molly out, she doesn't come. I say, come on! And she sits there and then she turns around and walks backwards because she doesn't like me. I'm always so kind to her. I've always been so kind to her. I love her. I let her kiss me. I pet her. I like let her outside every day. I am so kind to her. You know why she doesn't like me? It's literally the stupidest reason in the whole history of the world why she doesn't like me. It's insane. She doesn't like me because I'm the owner of Ellie and she hates Ellie. She likes everybody else. She likes pigs. She likes all the other dogs. There's not an animal on the farm. She doesn't like, kind of. Like she likes to, she's scared of the horses. She's scared of the goats. But she hates Ellie with all of her might. So that means that she's rude to me. Like sometimes she's like, I love you, Laura. And then like the next time she's like, ew. But whatever. Just like with people. There are people in the world that like you. There are people in the world that understand you. There are people in the world that don't like you. There are people in the world that don't understand you. Imagine what life would be like if you spent all your time chasing those people that don't like you. You're never going to change their mind. You're never going to make them like you. They have their own reasons for not liking you and it always is about them. It's never about you. Either they're too different than you. They don't understand you or genetically they're different. They've had uh, different upbringings. They're just different than you. And wanting to be friends with people that don't want to be friends with you is just a wasted amount of time, especially when there are so many people in the world that love you, understand you, and want to be your friend and are kind to you. So go out there, find your people, guys. If somebody's not liking you, then just move past it. It's not a big deal. It's just who they are. Where it gets tricky is if you stop being kind to yourself and i myself have struggled with mean people with haters it's taken me it took me a long time to realize that people are just who they are has nothing to do with me and you just gotta step away from them and ignore them anyway i'm out here doing chores and i got all the dogs which typically means i have to watch extra careful that this one doesn't take off running somewhere and she doesn't do it on purpose she just gets following the shadow of a bird because she doesn't hear the bird she just sees the shadow on the ground She'll start chasing birds. And before you know it, she's gone somewhere. Oh, hi guys. How's, how's your new house? Stay here. Oh, there's my baby duck. Sophie doesn't know it, but I love the ducks. Sam doesn't know it, but to turn on the light now is a pain. Hi guys. How do you like your new house? Oh, you got lots of water. Lots of food. Everybody's, oh, look. Look what Sam made them. Cause this stuff is like stabbing me. I put some medicine in their uh, water. That's medicine. It's like vitamins and minerals. Look, they look really happy. So a few more days, maybe next weekend, we'll, we're gonna start letting these guys, these big guys out. We'll start letting these guys out, the big ones at least. We'll leave the little guys in. All right, let's see what's happening in the bottom here. Oh, you guys need new food. Do you need new water too? Sam made a little roost for them. Hopefully it stands up. Hi guys. Obviously the ducks aren't going to roost. I'll get you food. There's a little turkey. Look at that little duck over there. He sees his friends, the ducks. You guys, it's working. He knows there's ducks in there for him. There's a little girl in here for you. We got ducks for you, guy. Look at him. Isn't that so cute? He understands. I love this coop a lot. I love that the chickens are all able to get used to each other on the ground now. Fun fact, chickens don't move out of the way. If you're like falling or stepping somewhere, they don't move. All right, so who stayed? Who stayed to keep me company? Who were the good dogs? Yep, see, only one is missing. And I'll show you where the other one went. Sometimes she hangs out in the poop pile. But today, she's just laying in the grass and ju she's just laying in the sun. She loves a good sun. Come on, let's go in. Come on. Come on, I know you can see me doing sign language to you. Come on. Come on. I'm doing it faster. <laughs> Daisy, come on. Oh. She's trying to eat whatever she's eating as fast as she can because she sees me coming. Let's go. <laughs> she doesn't care. Come on. Hey. 
Let's go. Come on. So today is holiday Monday. Come on. She know, she's so smart. She knows what I want, but she's distracted by the yummy poop she's eating. Still eating. Come on. Come on. So yesterday I fell over on my ankle. I twisted my ankle. It was the worst twist I've ever had on my ankle before. I was a bit worried about it, but I walked on it all day and all I could feel was just like a tiny bit of like, I could forget that I even hurt myself except for there's this tiny little niggling feeling like that it was twisted. Penny's gonna drink some mosquitoes. There's a, there's a duck, Penny. Let's see if Penny likes ducks. Nope. So everything felt really good. The whole day, like I could just, I could tell that I twisted it. There's like a tiny little strained feeling, but it, it doesn't bother me at all. I can walk in it normally. Everything was fine until I went to bed. The minute I went to bed, I stopped using it. It started to swell a little, got tight, and all night it ached and ached and ached. So then I was so super worried about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna wake up in the morning. I'm not gonna be able to walk. It's gonna be awful, like this is terrible. And then, I woke up in the morning and it was terrible. I couldn't even walk down the stairs. It was so tight and it hurt. I have such a strong tolerance to pain and it actually was hurting me. And then I moved around on it. Like I just kept walking. I just kept limping along. And before I know it, the pain went back to the way that it felt yesterday. It's literally been fine. Just goes to show you, you guys. If you don't lose it, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. What are you doing? Why is everybody all discombobulated? Hey, what are you doing here? Dirty nose girl. What's going on? So uh, these guys are still meeting over the fence. Hi, baby. Hi, big boy. <laughs> She's like, just rub me, Laura. I've been missing that. Yeah, every morning I let her out, I rub her and I play with her. She's rooting around in the ground. That's why her nose is dirty. And he is excited to meet a girl pig for the first time. <laughs> He's like, just bring her in here. I know what to do with her. <laughs> She's a baby. She's a lot, so he's not a very big pig, and she's really small compared to him, so she's definitely young. Yes. Whenever I sit down and just play with my pig, she always has to touch me. Like, I have so many pictures of me just sitting on the ground, and then she always has, like, she'll, like, move close to me, and then she'll put, like, a leg on me like that, or she'll have her nose touching me. Oh, nose is just gross, Pose. I check her for ticks every day just to make sure my girl has not got any bugs on her. Today I was getting ready and I was singing this song in my head. It just popped in my head. See? <laughs> Whenever I sit with her, she always has to get as close as she can. See? Now her bum's touching me and her head. <laughs> this is how it has to be with me and Posey. I know. I know my girl, I miss you too. So today I was singing this song, it popped in my head. I used to sing it to my boys and it's, it's like this song that was popular when they were little and it's like, I don't wanna have an iguana. I don't care for a grizzly bear. A rhinoceros ain't the thing for us. I just wanna have a pig. That's the song that I used to sing to my boys. And I guess I manifested in me having two pigs. <laughs> Because here I am with one of the big loves of my life being this little pig. <laughs> Look at the smile on her face. I know. Every day I come out and I just sit with her because she still needs that. Oh, she makes me cry lots of times because whenever I leave her out here, even though she's a good farm pig and she travels the whole farm and she has lots of animals to spend her time with, she can find the shade when she needs to, she can find a boyfriend when she needs to. Um, she still really wants to be with me and like I can tell when I leave that she really wants to come inside with me Like she'll follow me to the gate and she'll cry. She like makes these crying sounds I'm like does me in every time because how can you? 
deny a face like this, you guys. How can you ever step away or walk away from something that loves you so much? The pig and Ellie. The chickens are acting crazy. The pig and Ellie, though. It's the, it's the pig and Ellie that love me this much. Only the pig and Ellie. I don't even think Sam or my kids love me as much as the pig and Ellie love me. Go out there and find yourself somebody that will love you. The way the pig loves me and the way Ellie loves me. I just love her. Oh, when did Sophie get up? I don't know. I told her to come down. <laughs> she just rolled down the hill. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get up. <laughs> She's not going to be able to get up. <laughs> She's going <laughs> she just keeps rolling. There we go. <laughs> all right, piggy, piggy, I gotta go. Now that I'm all dirty. I love listening them, to them talk to each other. Does he speak your language, Posy Pig? Hey? Does he speak your language? Hey? See? Every time she lays down, she always has to have some part of her body laying right on me. I could just sit here and watch them forever. And now I have two piggies to love, you guys. Nobody loves like a pig loves. Nobody loves you like a pig. Anyway, it may be a holiday weekend, but Sam was able to find somebody to come and fix the cut down that tree down there that is in the boy in the horse pasture they're about to arrive any minute so he had to lock so him and sophie sophie and sam locked the horses out of this pasture here and out of those pastures we're gonna have a big tractor come and cut hold that that tree that's kind of hanging and then cut it down and get rid of the threat to our pasture. Honestly, uh, farms are so noisy. Everybody is so quiet on the farm right now, except for the pigs. Posey's in heat. Oh, yeah. And she is screaming the place down. So, today is Canada Day, and they have fireworks. I love fireworks. And Sam asked me if I want to go. I said, I don't think I can stay up. <laughs> Who can stay up for that stuff? I can. That's the problem between Ellie and I. I love her so much and the thing that I love about having a little dog is I can pull them into bed with me at night and snuggle her up. She doesn't do that. She's a night owl just like Sam. I'm a morning person and she stays up till the crack of dawn when Sam goes to bed. Does she go to bed when you go to bed? Yeah, pretty much. She... Pretty much she's lounging around all night with me and then when I go up to bed she follows me. Yeah. It's a true love affair, you guys. Hi, lady. She's excited. No. What? If you tap your horse, we'll go for a trail after. You want me to go for a trail with you? I love the idea. I know. Sophie just invited me to ride her. No, no, no. <laughs> just joking. I love riding her. You're not allowed to. Anyways, good morning, lady. You're a beauty. Look at her little forelock is coming back oh, in. Do you guys see it? You have to keep this door closed. Yeah. And there's like hot air coming in here. Wow, what's happening over in this corner? Are you in heat? Looks like everybody on the farm is in heat because she's letting storm near her. Hi, babe. Hello. Uh, the guys with the truck and the saw has just arrived. They literally just pulled in. I can already hear them working. Those are my kind of workers. I don't think I'm going to go down there. I hear a lot of screaming. There's Sam down there. I don't think you guys can see him, but he's right in the thick of it. Probably wishing he had all those tractors and all those chainsaws. I'm pretty sure that they're taking the wood with them too, which would be uh, so good so we don't have to clean it up. The horses are also unearthing a few more rocks this summer and my nephews are coming soon for a little barbecue and I'm going to have them come out here and pick out rocks. We got the guy cutting hay over there, we got these guys cutting down the tree. There are no holidays in the country you guys, there's no holidays for farmers. If you're a farmer, you gotta work every day. Hey, handsome man, is it too hot for you? I know, and your girl is gone. 
And you bring one new horse to the herd and suddenly nobody wants to be away from her. They barely know, you barely know her. Sophie's gonna ride, so I'm gonna go get some popcorn and sit out there and watch the show. She's a perfect weight. None of our horses get obese. Even our mini and even our small ones, they get mildly, like very mildly overweight, but they don't get obese. Like some, that's just probably because they're young. It's probably because they're not at the age yet where their hormones turn on them. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?